I think it was the very beginning of weaving becoming three-dimensional. You know, there was Lenore Tani and uh, Magdalena Abakanovich and, and um, just people were, were trying to make weaving three-dimensional, including Dominic Damara. He was making weaving three-dimensional. And I, I think I was attracted to that. And then I was in an exhibit, this was around 1967, and I um, was in an exhibit with Joan Austin, and that Mary Jane Leland actually put one of my pieces in that show. And Joan had been to Cranbrook, and her father was a fisherman, and she had learned how to um, kind of uh, mend his nets. So she really started studying uh, um, basket making and off loom fiber techniques at Cranbrook in the, in the 60s, around 66, 67. And I really, I loved her piece. Her piece was three-dimensional, and it was made of these techniques. I think it was twined and maybe coiled, I'm not sure. But I got very excited about it, and I just happened to go have, meet her for lunch one day while she was giving a, a workshop. And I took <laughs> uh, the instruction sheet, and I asked one of the students if she would, if they were, have, you know, they were stopping for lunch, and I asked one of the students if she would just show me what she had, was doing. And she did. And I went home that night and I started doing it. And I've been doing it ever since. Dominic Damar and Lenore Tani were my two favorite weavers in the country. And I did meet Dominic early on and I studied with him for a short period of time. And then he and I became very close friends and we're close friends to this day. And Lenore Tani, I met, I w waited 10 years to meet her. She was my favorite weaver other than Dominic, and she was like the mother of weaving in the United States uh, for the 20th century. Things started happening where I felt that we really had some kind of connection. So I called her and she said, come over, and we spent the whole afternoon walking around her studio, hours, just looking at all her work and talking about her work, her and me. And I gave her my responses to her work. I'm here I was, how many, like 30 years younger than her? And I gave her my responses and we, you know, we talked about you know, what she was doing and um, that she was having an exhibit here at Fullerton. And she came and I went to the opening with a friend of mine and she, she invited me to her hotel. But I didn't go because I was with this other person and I couldn't leave that person behind. But then she and Dextra, they were, there was a group who were going out to dinner later on that week, and she invited me to join them. And, and, and from then on, she and I became very close. We, we, we remained very close till she died. And she, she, just, she was the most interesting person I'd ever known. And thank God for knowing her, because I might have been lonely. With, without that relationship. It was so deep and, and very powerful for me. That's what, I value that in art. I value the, that when art is timeless, and she had that in her work.